A Boy Called Bat by Alana K. Arnold, Chapter 14, Sleeping Arrangements. I want to sleep on the couch next to Thor. No, Bat, you need to sleep in your own bed, said Mom. Then I want Thor to sleep in my bed. You can't sleep with a skunk, Bat. What if you rolled over a night in the night and crushed him? I would never do that, Bat said. He never would. You're not the only one who remembers things, Bat, said Janie, and then she stomped off to her room. Bat turned to Mom. Please, he begged. No, said Mom in her firm voice, but Bat knew Mom's firm voice. Sometimes if he pushed hard enough, he could change it into her soft voice, the one that would let him have his way. I could be the one to feed him and you could sleep all night, Bat said. I know how to do that. Who do you think took care of you when you were a baby and had to eat every two hours, Bat? Mom asked. I took care of you and Janie. And I can take care of the little skunk. If you let me help, Bat said, bargaining now. I'll promise to scrape all the extra food off my plate from now on and put it in the dishwasher after dinner. Mom smiled. I thought it was too gross to look at leftover food stuck on a plate. It is too gross, but I'll do it anyway, even if I'm, it makes me gag. Even if I'm made to throw up. Besides, Bat said, I'd help Thor go into the bathroom after he finished eating. If I can't do that, I can do other gross things. Or if I can do that, I can do other gross things. Mom had taught Bat that baby skunks don't know how to go to the bathroom on their own when they are little babies. And if they don't pee and poop, they can die. In nature, their mother would help them learn. But since Thor was an orphan, every time he drank his formula, someone had to hold him up and rub his bottom with a wet cotton swab until he pooped and peed. At school, Bat had been helping to clean up baby cake's enclosure for a while now, and poop and pee were just part of having an animal. I'll tell you what, said little Bat. I'll tell you what, little Bat, said Mom, and her voice was softer now. Thor has to sleep in his enclosure, and I'm going to take care of him during the night, but you can be in charge of his daytime feedings when we are home, and tomorrow after school, instead of staying home with Janie. How about you come to the clinic? I'm going to weigh and measure Thor and make sure he's getting enough to eat, and you can help. Okay, said Bat. For now, but when Bat, it would, for now, but when Thor gets bigger, big enough that I couldn't squish him in bed, let's revisit this conversation. That was something Mom said when she wanted Bat to know that they weren't done talking about something, and Bat wanted Mom to know that he wasn't giving up on sleeping with Thor. Mom laughed. You drive a hard bargain, she said, and don't think I'm going to forget about the dishes.